What do you remember about them breaking the news to you about what it was? And it's a label that you might not know what it is initially. Yeah. Um, well, the funny thing is, when I actually was diagnosed, my consultant, which I really do actually appreciate, he was quite light-handed. He just said, oh, you've got Hodgkin's lymphoma, shook my hand and said, don't worry, it could have been worse. And that was it. Um, other people probably think that's a bit harsh the way he said it, but I really appreciated that. Um, didn't think anything, walked out of the room, thought, okay, I've got Hodgkin's lymphoma, walked out. But then when I sat in the car, that's when it sunk in and I realised I've got cancer. Because mm. obviously the label that everyone says, cancer, you think the worst. But luckily with me, I had a whole unit of family who was supporting me. But the drive going home was quite tearful and emotional because I was going home to my two young children. At that time, they were one and two, two boys. So all I could think was, my two boys, I've got cancer, am I gonna make it? You don't think of what type of cancer is and how severe it is, you just think cancer and am I gonna survive? Um, so it was quite emotional, it was quite tough. I think I was being strong for everyone else, but once the treatment was going on, I think I realized that no, I can fight this and I can, you know, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Were you quite determined as a person to get through it? You know, like, were you quite strong going through those initial difficult treatments? Yeah, definitely. I think, I didn't, to be fair, I don't think I even let it sink into me. I, I think I was in denial that I, was, I had cancer and I was going through treatment, I was having chemo. I just took it as each day, I was with my kids, I was with my family. In fact, I was actually comforting other members of family and everybody else who was around me when they said, oh, you've got cancer. I was like, yeah, I'm fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> so it's quite the other way around. So going through it wasn't as bad as I thought, but I think the side effects are quite bad and you've just got to handle it um, each day as it comes. Mm.